A St. Thomas student was charged for three hoax bomb threats over the last six months. And the St. Thomas Center for the Common Good founded Tommy Shelf in an effort to address food insecurity. Those topics and more today on Tommy Media's Top Stories. Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Top Stories. I'm Kat Barrett. And I'm Emily Haugen. In this show, we give you a rundown of Tommy Media's biggest stories. The U.S. Attorney's Office announced Tuesday an arrest and charge against St. Thomas student Ray Goncham Persaud for hoax bomb threats over the last six months. In an email, University President Julie Sullivan said Persaud is a third-year undergraduate student who commutes from Blaine. The student has been suspended. The most recent bomb threat on the St. Paul campus canceled some morning classes Tuesday, September 17th. The threat, which temporarily closed four buildings, was the university's third bomb threat in the past six months. A racial slur was found in an Ireland Hall bathroom the night of Wednesday, September 11th. This is the second time in a year that a racist incident has happened on campus. The community gathered to reclaim Ireland Hall and protest the incident the following night. The event started in Coach Commons, then moved outside in front of Ireland Hall. St. Thomas students and community members are able to pick up a bag of groceries from the Tommy Shelf every month. In collaboration with food delivery nonprofit Keystone Community Pantry, St. Thomas aims to address community food insecurity. The Keystone food truck arrives the first Tuesday of every month outside Anderson Parking Facility. People can also donate non-perishable food items to Keystone in yellow bins around campus. St. Thomas sophomore Wyatt Omdahl is walking around campus barefoot for the entire month of September. He is doing this in an effort to raise money for the charity Souls for Souls, which gives a pair of shoes to someone in need for every dollar raised. The nonprofit states that without shoes, many children are unable to go to school because they do not meet the dress code. Amdahl's goal is to raise $1,000, and as of today, has exceeded his goal with days to spare. And those are Tommy Media's top stories. Thank you for joining us. View these stories and more at TommyMedia.com. With Kat Barrett, I'm Emily Haugen for Tommy Media's top stories.